Hi, it's Doodling Debbie here with another video tutorial. One of the subscribers on my YouTube channel asked me if I would um, make a tutorial on how to do the border edge cards. So here it is. Okay, first of all, I went in and grabbed a border, and I'm going to go ahead and just um, take the color out of this. So we're going to go remove color so you can see the cutting file portion. Okay, and here is a card that is... 5.5 by 8.25 and I use my perforated line for um, the fold when the card is cut. Okay, and of course I haven't grouped these together because we're going to be doing some welding. Okay, in order to create this card, and if you want this side of the card when you fold it closed to show through, we're going to go ahead and I grabbed, I first you check the size of your border that you want, and this is 0.75. So, I created a rectangle that is also 0 0.75, as you can see right here. Then, I line it up to the very edge of this, and you can always use your zoom in key to, to check and make sure that they're lined up really well, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. Okay, now we want to go ahead and hold down our shift key and select just our card. And then you want to go up to your Modify tool, and you want to select Subtract. There we go. Okay, now that we have that subtracted, because I want this to line up with this back piece, that's why I had to take this much off before we welded it. Okay, now you just scoot your border over just a tad bit, and also use your um, Zoom tool to check and make sure it's aligned really nicely. Now that I have this done, I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit more than the 0.75 so it overlaps this area for welding. Okay, now that I have this already selected, I'm going to hold down my shift key and select my card image. There we go, and now all you have to do is go to the bottom and click your weld button and there you go, you have a border edge card. Now I'm going to show you one other little um, thing that I like to do with some of the cards I make and I think it's kind of neat. So I'm going to go back to my undo and we have to go all the way back, I'm sorry, to get back to the card. Okay, this time I want this card instead of being, um, oh I need to do a couple more undos here. Okay, instead of being uh, having the border on the edge, I want to be able to fold it back and then see another tone that's underneath it. So for this one here, we're going to extend the card by that 0.75. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this out. I've already had this set up to be 5.5 by 7.5. I'm going to line it up here. I'm going to take my perforated line, I'm going to control and click. And drag that right over there. Okay, now that I have this lined up, I'm going to stretch it out just a tad bit inward. I'm going to hold down the shift key again. And select my card and I'm going to hit that weld button again. Okay, now when this card folds back, it's going to lie over here and align up with the back of the card. So, we want a design right here, so when we fold it back, a design shows through. Okay, I'm going to take this border and right click on it and release the compound path so I can delete this portion of it. So I'm going to delete that out because I just want my designs to show when I fold the card back. So we're going to delete this out. And now I'm going to drag my cursor over these and go down here to the bottom to group them. And now I can see my uh, perforated line needs to be extended just a tad bit. Okay, and now I'm going to move this little image over here and line it up. And if you think it's going to be too tight, we can always rescale it just by dragging it in a little bit. 
and there you go. Okay, now that we have this fold back border added, remember all you have to do is add a little strip of paper and you can go right in here and size it to that image size. And I'm going to move this over to the side. So I would cut this strip here in a different color and adhere it to this side of the perforated line. So when the card is folded back, you see all these pretty little shapes on the front of the card. Okay, this is about all I have for today. I hope this tutorial has helped you learn um, a new way of doing things or just how to do it. Have fun with your designing and creating in your Silhouette Studio software and remember you can always find me on the Silhouette Plus forum or at my blog um, spot. It's www.paperpulse.blogspot.com. Have a great day and happy crafting everyone. Bye!